You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob, and this is episode number 381. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with us. And Rob, thank you for sitting at this table with me for it is 381 pleasure. episodes. Whew, I am tired. You're probably tired of me. No, no, I'm not tired of you. Oh, come on, it's okay. Now's your chance to say something. I get to kind of just hang out and listen to you talk most of the time, so it's pretty easy for me. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I talk to John Rupert, I feel like I uh, have the whole um, personality switched. Yes, <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm Rob. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, how does Rob let me talk for so long? <laughs> like, wow. Because so. I'd have to pitch you upside the head to get you to stop. <laughs> That would be rude. Oh, man. And you guys, welcome to another show. Uh, as you guys know, in this last week, we saw the DJI Z3 camera coming out. And you're probably wondering, well, why are we only hearing about it until now? Well, actually, we recorded this episode the day it came out, which is Thursday the 14th. That's right. At 9.50 a.m. Mountain Time. To so, be precise. To be precise. Um, so you're hearing about it now because we recorded a bunch of episodes for the next two weeks up front. Why did we do that, Rob? Well, we're going to be doing a little traveling, I guess, is one reason we did that. Yeah. What else did you have in mind? Where, where are you going? On a little trip. Where are you going to? <laughs> I'm going to Vancouver. Actually, our intern's going to Vancouver, too. Are you serious? Coincidentally. Are you going for the same concert that they're going to? Oh, that's what you're trying to get at. Is <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. So, I am proud to be going to the Adele concert. <laughs> I don't give a crap what anybody thinks about Hello. it. Hello. Hello. It's me. <laughs> I've been on a podcast for the longest days that I could see. Okay. You're not Adele. No. Don't mm. ruin it for me. Uh, I'm trying not I to. I know you're jealous. You putting on this front that you don't like it and you think I'm crazy for going. The but only I know thing that jealous. I'm jealous of, the only thing I'm jealous of yeah. is that you get to go to Vancouver. I am pretty excited about that. I've never been. Be. All right. Well, I'm be excited sweet. to get a new drone camera, so write that check before you go, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put an extra lock on the safe. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, uh, today's question is really, what is the Z3? What should we know about it? And also, we're going to talk about some questions that we have for the Z3. We'll be doing some testing on it here shortly and give you more information. But we kind of want to talk about some things that we've noticed, some questions that we have, and hopefully questions that you'll be thinking about before maybe you upgrade. Now, I do want to say this. This looks just like the X3. If you haven't gotten the email from DJI, I'm sure, in fact, you've probably already seen this. But this morning in our DroneU community our private closed community that only about 250 people have access to. Um, a lot of people have been asking some very good questions. And I hope this sparks some question in your mind as well. First thing that I noticed, and no one's talked about, mm -hmm. dual tilt motors, just like we saw on the P4. Okay. So dual motors now. We got another extra motor to control that tilt. Um, so that's a good thing. In my opinion, it is a good thing, but... Drain on the some, battery, though? Eh, not much. Not maybe much. a few amps, but not much. Okay. Something that our intern said, mm -hmm. co-pilot intern, Sam, um, he goes, well, if they added the extra tilt motor, do you think that they added sport mode onto the Inspire? Because the way that this whole, this whole thing went, so you guys can understand the train of thought, is we said, okay, is the Z3 going to be the new camera on the Inspire 2? Because mm -hmm. we know the Inspire 2 is coming out in September. We don't know what's coming out on the Inspire 2, but we've been told it is coming out. Okay. I think this is the camera for the Inspire 2. I think we're also going to see a, another upgraded camera for the Inspire 2. This and an upgraded camera. Yes. Kind of like what they did with the X5. Well, yeah, last September we saw the X5, and then the latter half of the presentation was all the changes they put into the Inspire 1 version 2, and then they started selling the Inspire 1 version 2 right after that. Right. So, um, yeah, I think that uh, I think that this camera is definitely going to be 
with the Inspire 2. I think it's going to be the stock camera. So let's talk about this camera. Yeah, so what's special about it besides the dual motors, I guess? So essentially what they're saying is that if you're shooting in 1080p, lossless zoom allows full tev- seven times zoom without sacrificing the full HD image quality. So what they're really doing... From beginning to end of that zoom... It is, you don't sacrifice quality of that image. That's what they're saying. It's that's lossless quality. Actually. So the focal range would be 22 millimeters to 77 millimeters. Okay. 77 millimeters is really tight for being in the sky. Yeah. I think I've only seen 100 millimeters in the sky before. And so, 77 is going to make uh, flight very difficult for any amateur pilot. Really? Well, here's why. If I'm shooting like this, right? And I'm moving about, you know, Mm -hmm. you see it a little bit, but if I'm shooting here and you move that same movement, it's going to look like this. So it's going to be a lot more difficult to control. Choppy. And I was actually, I had written down a question. Is this just going to make it tougher, tougher to fly the camera for a lot of people? No, I think it's going to make it easier. Okay. Um, well, actually, now that I think about it, maybe well, not easier. Think about this, right? What's the purpose of this? People will be able to fly, quote unquote, closer without being closer. Which a lot of people are not going to like that idea, the people that don't like drones in the first place, but go ahead. Very good point there, Rob. Something that people are talking about right now is, you know, the one excuse I've always given people who question my drone is, look, there's no zoom. I can't zoom in on this. Like, I can't see your backyard. And now there is zoom. But you can Very still tell people. You can still tell people there is no zoom. You are not going to go to hell for it. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> like, don't worry about a little white lie to someone who clearly has angst against drones. <laughs> like, sometimes I wonder the rationale that goes behind these arguments with people. Uh, but anyway, it, it, yes, it is. It is definitely going to change that. But yeah. I also think in in the fact that it's going to be easier to, for people to get closer shots, it's going to be more difficult to control the shots. But DJI did say that they added, um, adding an additional layer of the Z3's yaw is a custom design reaction wheel. This works in tandem with the normal yaw motor to allow for more refined and control movement. Hmm. Because they say in here, when a camera is zoomed in, the smallest movements are magnified. Sure. Which is true. Sure. Well, and one of the other things I was thinking about in terms of making it tougher to fly is you're now controlling another function. Mm-hmm. So you're obviously having to keep track of the drone and, and fly it well, whereas currently you're just flying the camera and you're, it's kind of all one function, if you will. But now you're flying the camera and you've got to control the zoom at the same time. It's almost like you need another operator just to work the app. Yeah. You know, because like if they're moving another wheel, like think about our hands right now. We've got one thumb on the stick, another thumb on the stick, then you've got your left index finger on the record or the wheel. You're mm-hmm. not doing both, it's one or the other. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the right the right uh, index finger, it's either exposure value wheel or taking photos. So you have, what, so now we'll, what, your pinky? It's gonna be the zoom pinky? You're gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, the C buttons too. Uh, our intern makes a, I hate saying intern, but uh, he makes a great point, so he, he should, He's the it's most a term of endearment, right? In turn, sure. Okay. Anyways. It depends. You it know, depends. If this was like what? What's that? Tr- what's the movie? The business trip. If we're taking him on a business trip and we get him all loaded and everything, it's oh, into he's a movie. Nineteen. So we can't do that. So no, we don't get him all loaded. <laughs> we'll take him to Mexico. Paul. It's only a three-hour drive. <laughs> Jeez. I'm kidding. I'm gonna have to chaperone this trip. The old guy. We'll just get you drunk first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's going to be a little tougher to fly, I think, to control all those different functions. True. There's one more that's being added to the mix. True. Uh, one of the big questions that we found in our community or that I really, really loved uh, was Vic's point here. And Vic Moss, our uh, aerial photography instructor, uh, this guy has won so many awards for photography, it's ridiculous. But he says, you know, this looks nice. I have two concerns. The first is the glass. Unless they're using the same glass that is on the P4, it will lack sharpness and contrast. Also, this 12 me- megapixel sensor is pushing the limits of that sensor. There may be some noise issues for shadow detail. Hmm. I think he's he could be right. Yeah, but we so, don't know yet. It's the he's, same. So just so everyone knows, this is the same camera sensor that's in the P3, the P4, the Inspire 1 X3. So the sensor has not changed. Okay. What we're doing is manipulating how we use the sensor. So are you excited about the camera? Or? Yeah, absolutely. All right. I mean, 
excited beyond just giddy, meaning like, you, new product. Yes. Right. Yes, I, I am actually excited because... Uh, It'll be a good tool. I mean, it's something that you can put to good use. Well, I think the main thing here that people are overlooking, I've said that three times, so there must be three main things. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's morning. One of the things. One of the things that people are missing here is that 3DR at NAB said, look, we're going to provide you with a Sony Exmor sensor. You're going to have adjustable zoom from the ground, and this is going to be a new level of definition and detail for mapping. Mm. That's what this camera is for. This camera is for mapping. So DJI did it. And DJI did it first, um, which shouldn't surprise you. In fact, I, w I wonder why 3DR actually releases these things at NAB because they're like, look, Rob, we're going to give you a zoom camera that you can control from the ground and you'll be able to use it to make better maps. Two months later, DJI, hey, look, here's our zoom camera that's 4K. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready to go. Yeah. Here, have fun. And yeah, anyways, so I hope three why, gets it together. If you don't have the product ready, why tell anyone about it? You are literally giving the competition the upper hand, you know? I'm just saying. So, you know, drone deploy, Pix4D, if you're mapping at all, this is going to be a significant significant change for you because if you can take photos at 77 millimeters the level of detail and accuracy you're going to have in your maps is going to be astronomically higher mm -hmm. so yeah it sounds like it's going to be a great tool i think it will the next thing to do is to test it that's right all right rob you're on it this one's yours cannot wait so write that check 20 days send it to yourself let us know how it goes <laughs> okay i'll be Providing a full report. All right. I, I look forward to it. All right. Moving on. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us today. If you have questions, be sure to go to askdroneu.com. And if you ask the question in an accent, you can win cool stuff. What am I talking about? Well, I've got a box of like 300 items from DJI in the hallway. So you can have your pick from any of those things. Hats, shirts, bags, lanyards. There's like little wrist things. And you want a lanyard. I don't even know why <laughs> or half the stuff that's in there, but uh, you're more than welcome to have it. In fact, everyone who comes by is like, Just hey, come by the office. You guys want some swag? Here's some DJI swag. Here's some drone use swag. So the hats have a nice long bill, so it's good for being out in the sun, actually. You know, it has the European bill. Mm -hmm. When you go to Europe, all the hats look like that. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. And, and here, all the bills are shorter. That looks like a referee or an umpire hat for baseball. <laughs> it does look like an umpire hat, except umpire hats have a short bill, typically. Is it like a super short one where they like flick it up? Some of it's them. It's like this? Some of them. Oh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see what I'm doing. Um, otherwise, guys, I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you have an awesome day wherever you're listening. And again, we love those questions. And again, if this has helped you out, please leave us a review wherever you listen. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You.